Up next, we have the co-founder of Switch, Robert Sabala. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I shouldn't have tried to piss off the gun guy. That was a very bad idea. So I want to start by just asking a question. So how many of you have um, gotten a gift card that you've never used or that um, you, you get it and you're like, what was this person thinking? And um, you're thinking, I'd much rather have cash. How many? How many have you gotten a gift card? Or you got the gift card and you tried to give it to somebody else because you're never going to use it. This is a common problem that we solve for. And I would also say, how many people have miles sitting somewhere that you're just not going to use? And you're wondering, how many, if there's miles in, in Clarion, and I'm never going to go to a Clarion again. How do I unlock that value? And that's the problem we solve. My name is Rob Sabella. This is Deepak Jain, and we are the co-founders of Switch. And we're here to tell you about an app and a bot that we have just released in the market. All right. Can you hear me? Um, our app is about digitizing uh, the gift card market and also making rede redemption of points and miles easier for you. Um, so what we have done is we have created a brand new product in the market, what we call as switch gifting. What that means is that any consumer or any business, when it, uh, you can use our system to generate a, what we call a switchable gift. And when the recipient receives the gift, even though you may have sent him a Walmart or a Home Depot gift card, the recipient can, um, yeah. can uh, switch it to whatever they want instantaneously. It's a cloud-based it's a cloud -based platform. You can do any denomination. It's very secure. So basically, we are solving the problem that when a sender is buying a gift card for a recipient, they do not really know what the recipient needs or wants. So no matter what you may have selected, the recipient can still get what he wants. Um, the app also allows you to save your gift. So if somebody sends you $100, you can actually save the gift for up to 30 days. So when, that, when you're out shopping and you actually enter a particular store and you know that that's where you want to spend your gift, you can instantly pull up the app, switch the gift to that merchant and spend it right there. So what does the app let you do? You can buy gift cards right instantly, right from the app. Uh, you can buy them at a discount. You can also scan a plastic card that you may have received from another person into the app and use it digitally and throw away the plastic. You can also exchange that plastic gift card for the remaining value to another gift card um, digitally. You can also take that and then re-gift it to somebody else. And best of all, with a, with a very quick uh, couple of clicks in the app, you can send a gift electronically of any denomination to anyone in your address book. We recently presented at one of the uh, most premier uh, Finovate conferences, uh, FinTech conferences in New York uh, in, uh, in September, and we were awarded the best of show there. Um, our promise is... Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, our promise is that every gift is relevant. So whatever gift is generated from our system, whether it's a business giving a gift to their consumer or whether you are sending a gift to somebody else, it's always relevant they, because the recipient can pick what he wants. You can take a, a gift card of any merchant. You can also take a Visa or MasterCard. You can also switch that gift into cash, into your bank account, instantly using our app. The UX is very friendly. We make recommendations for uh, the recipient. We have all the data of what the recipients are doing. Uh, you are, we are able to provide recommendations of what your recipient wants. And what we announced uh, recently is a brand new technology which we are calling gift bots. These are your personal digital assistants in apps like Facebook and, uh, and Skype where you can instantly talk to them. They are artificial intelligence enabled. So you can simply say, please send a $50 gift card to your friend. They will search your address book, find who that is, and send that gift on your behalf, right from your conversation that you may be having in, uh, in Facebook or Skype or Twitter or any of these, these apps. A little bit about us. I have built a company before in the Dallas area called Device Fidelity that was acquired by Square. I was, um, uh, winner of Tech Titans as well as One to Watch Awards. And Robert here has been running an accelerator program in the Dallas area. So we are very uh, um, active.
active in this, uh, in this environment. Thank you. And our tagline is give, get, switch. Thank you. Yes, I was very nervous about that. I kept hitting that, but yeah, we're trying to follow good. the rules. This is the first uh, tag team presentation I've seen. I like that. But you guys should have done like the tag off when it was his turn. Reset it. Reset it. Reset it. Okay, first question. Yes, you're going to ask what you can do to help us. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, no, our app is out. It is out on Android and on iOS, so we actually encourage it's out. We sort of a soft launch. We have over a thousand users so far, so we're pretty excited by our soft launch having a thousand users. You can download it today. If everyone here did that and had 10 of their friends download the app, we'd be super happy. But thank you for asking that question. All right, question here. Um, what do you do if everybody goes to cash from their gift cards and how do you disincentivize that? Well, we actually don't want to disincentivize it. So uh, I understood that people have the option of converting their gift cards to cash. That's and right. So I'm imagining it wrong, but that, to me it says then you're holding a gift card and they're getting dollars. Yes, so um, there is a fee for switching to cash. So if, I, um, if somebody sent $50 from the switch system, if you were to stay in a closed loop environment, so Home Depot to Amazon or Best Buy or Bed Bath & Beyond, you may actually get 50 and actually even get more than 50 because we uh, get discounts from our uh, merchant partners that we pass on to you. If you were to switch to a Visa card, you may get 49 And if you were going to cash, you may only get 48 or $47. I have a question. Yeah, so um, in terms of monetization, you're making your revenues on the, on the margin between the basically the sell, buy and sell or... Yeah, we make, the, we make money every time somebody switches. So whether you are switching to a, uh, from one merchant to the other, or you're switching into Visa or switching into cash, we get a spread and we, uh, we make money. Hey, um, so how do you, uh, somebody puts a gift card, are you guys transferring it into another gift card? Or if I put my gift card in there, and somebody buys it, and then I still have the gift card, can I just go and buy something with that gift card, and now I've gotten money, and, and the gift card's still used? Does that yeah, make so uh, we actually, our terms and conditions, if you are going to sell us a gift card that we give you money for, we will also ask you for a backup credit card. And if you end up defrauding us, we'll charge your credit card. Yeah. Yeah, I think it could have been helpful to have a little bit more of the revenue model in the pitch because I think we're all still trying to figure that out. Uh, but my question was, from an analytics perspective, if I'm Home Depot, I'd like to know that my cards got switched for something else. And I know, uh, you know, privacy, and, and can you de-identify that data and get back to the merchants and say, hey, look, half of your cards are being switched to something else. Absolutely, absolutely. We can not only tell, uh, right now the merchants have no idea who is buying their card from the shelf from the CVS or Walgreens. Uh, they have really no idea how long it takes for the card to be spent down. They have no idea if the people are re-gifting it to somebody else. Uh, they have no idea if it's staying in the drawer for a long time. So we have all the data and we can provide the data about uh, switching. Not for the time being, but, uh, you know, data is only useful when it, we have a lot of it. So does your app assume that the, uh, the gift card is at full value, or does it have a way of verifying how much value is on the card, and, it, and can you use cards that have not been activated? Uh, so if the card has been sold to us, uh, if the card was actually a plastic card that you acquired from another store, we have balance check capability with over 120 merchants that we can instantly uh, verify the balance on your, on your gift card. Um, if, if the card has been sold by the Switch app, we, always, uh, we obviously know what is going on with that card. So we are able to manage that. That's it? No more? One more? So just in terms of marketing, can you just talk about that? I know you're having us download, et cetera, but what else are you guys doing? 
Oh, that will take us five minutes. We have uh, brand ambassador programs in 20 universities. We have PTA uh, relationships. We have advertising with Facebook. We are doing uh, relationships with the likes of Skype. We have like, you know, two dozen programs to uh, spread the word.